Hey, Ricardo. Hello, sir. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. It was, uh, this day, it was uh, a great for me. <laughs> oh, why? What was it great? It's uh, because I have resolved many, many problems. Oh, but, really? Uh, yes, in, in, my, in my job. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. Give me one second. Right. All right, guys. Uh, yeah. So, so what type of um, what type of problems did you solve? So, what are you talking about? It's about the new product. Product uh, we have to to adjust in the the machine for the new products. So. Oh, okay. Uh, it it the the result was a, a good. Okay, it was it was a good result. Yes. Okay. All right, I see. Very good. What about you, Gio? Gio, how was uh, how was your your day at work today? Um, let's see. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy and excited because this is almost me, time. I'm, I'm I'm going to have vacation without vacation. <laughs> oh, nice man, nice, nice. I thought that you were going to say you were going to have a kid. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I thought that you were gonna say that you're gonna have a kid. Uh, no, because no. <laughs> they say you have your your week of vacation, but you have to work on vacation. <laughs> so, man, that that's not vacation <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's not a vacation at all. No. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. Very good, very good. Uh, what about you, Carla? How's everything? was a very busy day but everything is fine okay right it was okay all right i'm glad to hear that okay i'm glad to hear that so um do you do you like you know do you like your job do you like what you do yes i do it's, it's interesting and uh, okay it, and also because um, go ahead go ahead i'm sorry uh-huh um interesting because every day is this has uh, different problem i don't do the same all every day okay all right all right like that all right very good it's good to have that you know it's good to have that um perspective right to be to have that personality all right good job guys thank you guys for being early uh michelle welcome how was your day today michelle well, it was a productive day. I did uh, many homeworks that I have, uh, let's say, teacher, how can I say, atrasadas, delayed, right? Delayed. Okay, all right, that I have postponed. postponed. Um, also, homework, yes. guys, doesn't have a plural, okay? It's a non-countable noun, right? Homework, it's just homework, one thing, okay? So I had a lot of homework, okay? Uh -huh. So in, in English, guys, homeworks doesn't exist, okay? Okay. Um, okay. So you can't say homework. Okay, very good. Work. All right. Um, super good. Jordana, how was your day today, Jordana? I'm sorry, Jordana, I didn't reply. Uh, I mean, I forgot. Okay, I saw your message. I was doing something okay. else and I forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, but, but yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, go over the, the exercises on the platform either way, guys. So, yes, uh, Jordana, how was how's everything for you today? It's really good, even though I'm a bit tired, so I, I would like to go to sleep soon. <laughs> all right. As long as you don't fall asleep during the class, you know that's fine, all right? No, but I'll make sure that once we finish, I'll fall asleep. <laughs> all right. That's good. That's good. Okay. Thanks. I was planning on leaving you extra homework, you know, that you had to, <laughs> you had to leave her today. No. Um, that's good, guys. Look at how red i am guys <laughs> i came i came from the gym but but it's funny how because i'm like very white you know so if i if i exercise i get like pretty red all what right do you uh, say trigueño teacher 
because sometimes I've been asked like that not exist. white, not brown. It does not exist, but light brown or how you're do you brown, say that? You're brown or you're white. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> or, or black. And, and brunette. Maybe. Brunette. Brunette, brunette yeah, is yeah. actually in, in English, guys, in America, it refers to your hair. Your hair. To your All right. hair. All right. right it refers to your hair, not, not to the, your skin color. All right. Color. But yeah, guys, that, 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 you know, that what you say, you know, I don't know, maybe that be, that'll be considered white, right? But um, who cares, guys? <laughs> Bye, darn. Right. Right. Now, it's just funny, you know, I, I do, I, I like, you know, a, a darker tone of, of skin for myself, you know, but I don't, I don't take the sun every day, you know, that's a problem because I work from home. Then I do go out on weekends, you know, but, but yeah, I have to, you know, I have to tan my skin a little bit, right? <laughs> Too white. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. So uh, today, guys, we have a very interesting topic, okay? So we are going to yeah. talk about, yes, we are going to talk about non-defining relative clauses, okay? That sounds more complicated than it is, guys. And to be honest, it might, it might, you know, it might seem very complicated at the beginning, but it's really not, guys, okay? It's a lot of... Um, you know, it's, we're, we're gonna see guys, okay? Anyways, guys, so let me share the screen now that most of you are here. Adriana, welcome back, Adriana and Cesar. All right, nice to see you here again, guys. How's everything? I think, Adriana, you're working, right? You're still working. All right, uh, anyways, guys, so, all right, uh, not that, guys, hold on. All right, it's the other, I have like two of them open, guys. All right. So guys, um, there is a there is a listen exercise, guys. Okay, uh, have you completed, guys, section number four? Yes. All right, very All right, good. Okay, yes. and and also, guys. So tomorrow, guys. Okay, um, before we move on, guys. Tomorrow we're gonna go over the final exam, just making sure that the whole platform is, you know, has been completed. Okay. All right. So anyways, guys, okay. um, so there it is, okay? So now I'm defining relative clauses, guys, okay? We already know what a clause is, guys. What is a clause? Like Santa Claus? Mm -hmm. A sentence a clause? with subject and a bird. Okay, all right, it's a group of words, right? Yep. A group of words with a subject and a verb, okay? So now, guys, we have to talk about relative pronouns, okay, again. To talk about non-defining relative pronouns, Okay, uh, I mean, to talk about non-defining relative clauses, guys, we have to know about, you know, relative pronouns, okay? And what are relative pronouns? Good job, guys. Relative pronouns are these words right here, okay? All right, so these are the relative pronouns, okay? So what we're going to talk about, you know, as a subject, guys, we can use, you know, to talk about a person, we can use... Who. You can use who, right? To talk about a thing, we can use which. which. All right, write that down, guys, because that information is going to be essential as we move on, okay? All right. So these relative pronouns, guys, for things, all right, we can use them as subjects of a sentence uh, for, you know, a person or a thing, okay? So far, so good? Remember, guys, uh, relative clause, guys, starts with what? It starts with? Well, pro pronoun. It, rel pronoun. it starts with a relative pronoun, right? Very good. Now, as the object of the sentence, guys, we can use when we talk about a person. Who or whom. We can oh. use who I'm whom, okay? Oh. When we talk about a thing, what, what can we use here? Which. Oh, which, which. Which, right? When we talk about where, what do we use here? Place. I mean, when we talk about a place, guys, we can't where, use uh, where. where, guys. All right, very good. All right, and then when we talk about a possession, all right, we use? Whose? Whose? Use whose, okay? Who's. All right. All right, guys, so that, that's, you know, relative pronouns, okay? Now, what am I, what am I saying here, guys, okay? You can say, for example, this is a pen which, right, this is a pen which is very expensive, okay? 
All right, see? Is this a relative clause, guys, which is very expensive? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. it, okay, very good, okay. All right, let's see, guys, can I say, um, let's use who, guys. How can we use who? Try to, you don't have to, I mean, we're, we're not, I just want you guys to use a clause where you introduce it by who, okay? Dua Lipa. <laughs> Dua Lipa. Okay. Dua, okay. Dua, one, one day, you know, one day she's going to watch one of these videos. Right? She's going to call me, right? Dua Lipa. Dua Lupe. All right. Dua Lupe. I already what the... yeah. <laughs> Dua Lupe is a person, right, who likes to sing. Who likes, right? Likes. To sing, okay? To sing. All right, very good. Is there, how many clauses do we have here? Two. Okay. We have two, right? Very good. We have this one. And we have this one right here, right? See? Yes. Clause number one, Dua Lipa. We have a subject, then we have a verb. Is a person, and then who likes to sing? Who works as that? In this case, guys, this is a subject, the object, or, a, or a possessive? Subject. It is the subject, right? So who likes to sing, right? We have a verb here. So therefore, that becomes another clause. Does that make sense? No, yes, sir. Yes. All right, very good. All right, let's uh, give me another example, okay? Um, now, if you notice, guys, we have, we have a, a comma in the first one, right? This is a pen, yeah. which is very expensive, right? Now, do I need to use a comma here? Do we, this is a pen, which is very expensive. This is a pen, okay? Now, there is a difference between these two clauses, guys. The first one, this is a pen, okay? This is a pen. This information right here, this clause, guys, it's a comma because this is optional information, okay? All right, so this is optional. So that means, guys, okay, Hey, I don't care about this information, you know, I can work without it, right? This is a pen, right? Which is very expensive, it's just adding information to the first clause, okay? But now, Dua Lipa is a person who likes to sing. This, guys, Dua Lipa is a person, does it give you the full idea? It is, no. it, all right, it is a, it is a, a, an independent clause, right? Dua Lipa is a person. But the whole idea, guys, what do I want to portray here? That she likes to sing, right? So if I were to separate, guys, if I were to separate, you know, these two sentences here, you know, Dua Lipa, Dua Lupa, Dua Lipa, right, <laughs> is a person, all right, this would be idea one, right, idea one, and then we would have here idea two, okay, she likes to sink, right? See, so these two ideas, guys, I'm going to join them together. See, now, if I say, guys, Dua Lipa is a person that, you know, that likes to sing or who likes to sing, is that a whole idea or, or is that, you know, likes to sing separate information, you know, optional information? Think Wait, about it like, sentence? think about it like, is, is the one that I have down below, okay? Dua Lipa is a person who likes to sing, okay? Think about it like this, guys, okay? All right, I'm gonna mute you guys for now, All right, very good. So think about it like this, okay? You have a target, guys, okay? So here, guys, okay, here's your main idea, all right? So you got your main idea here. Now, if I say, guys, Dua Lipa is a person here, all right? Dua Lipa is a person who likes to sing, all right? This would be the main idea. But if I say, guys, this is a pen, which is very expensive, okay? The main idea of this is a pen, guys, all right? This is the main idea, and this right here, hold on. Let me use another gate. This is the, 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 the idea, the guys. Idea, guys. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Hold on, guys. All right here, all right? This is a pen, is the, 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 the idea by itself, okay? Which is very expensive, guys. This is optional, so we don't really need that information, okay? And that's pretty much the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses, okay? We're gonna see more examples, guys, okay? But, all right, remember, they're always introduced, guys, by relative pronouns. They're always, they're always introduced by what? 
relative pronouns. My relative, relative pronouns. pronouns. Okay, very good. All right, so let's take a look at the non-defining relative clauses, okay? So uh, who'd like to help me read, guys? Okay, tell me what a non-defining relative clause is. This, guys, who would like to help me read that? Can I read? Yes, absolutely. So non-defining relative clauses. Non-defining relative clauses are composed of a relative pronoun, verb, uh, and optional other elements, such as the subject or object of the verb. Commas or, or parentheses are always used to separate non-defining relative clauses from the rest of the sentence. Very good, guys. Okay, very good. So you have to remember this, okay? They work as a subject or the object of the verb. And they're always, they're always separated by... Commas. Commas, commas guys, okay? Commas. It says parentheses commas. too, you know? But you'll understand why it could be separated by parentheses, okay? All right. So first of all, guys, the first element is a relative pronoun. Got it? All right, we need a relative pronoun and we need a verb, right? And then, you know, everything else is optional, right? But a relative pronoun, guys, and a verb are a must, okay? So you must have a relative pronoun and a verb, right? So those are the elements. Aside from that, guys, you need a, you need a coma, got it? Yes, so there is a coma, right? Yes. And this will help us separate the non-defining relative clause from the rest of the sentence, okay? or from, you know, the, the first, the main clause. All right. Very good, guys. Now, uh, let's take a look at the examples here. So if I said, guys, John's mother, who lives in Scotland, has six grandchildren. Now, easy peasy, guys, okay? All right. Can I say John's mother has six grandchildren? Absolutely. Yes. yes, right? So this means, guys, that this right here is un metido, okay? All right? Because <laughs> who cares, okay? Who cares, okay? Who cares about this, guys, okay? This is optional information. I don't need this, okay? Now, of course, guys, when you're talking or, you know, if you want to, if you want to, you know, give optional information, if you want to describe, you know, then you add that extra information, right? But what's going on here, guys? Okay, let's see if we, if we, you know, have the rules. Let's focus on this clause right here, all right? Now, um, first of all, what is the first clause, guys? Let's see, what is the first clause? John's mother has six grandchildren. Very good. Hey, I didn't think that you were going to get that, guys. Very good. So this is the first clause, guys. John's mother, right, has six grandchildren, okay? See? All right. So that is the first clause, guys, okay? Now, remember, this is a nosy guy, right? Okay, this guy doesn't matter if, if this person is here, okay? If this clause is here, it doesn't matter. Now, do we have another clause here? All right. Yes, no? Yes. 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 What are we using to introduce this? Is this, what type of clause is this, guys? Non-defining. No, no, no. Okay, but is it, a rel is it a relative clause? A relative yes. clause. Yes, why is it a relative clause? Because you're using who? who? Because you're using who? the freaking who, right? A so you're using... Pronoun using a relative pronoun, right? All right, so who, okay, so this, okay, so you know, hey, you know what? That's a relative pronoun, right? Because I'm using who, okay? Now, what is the difference between, you know, a relative clause versus a non-defining relative clause, guys? This, guys, commas, okay, commas, and the fact that this is, right, remember? Metido, all right? This is extra information that, uh, you know, it just adds to that. It's a mess. So this, this, if you want, if you, if you, you know, if you like to put it like this, guys, this is also, um, this is also, this also works as an adjective. Why do you think that this works as an adjective? It describes right. the subject. Okay, very good. Okay, because guys, it describes 
The subject. Then what is the subject here? John's mother. All right. It describes the subject, which is John's mother, right? All right. I'm using a mouse, guys, and it's very difficult to write <laughs> down like this, okay? So anyways, okay. All right. So yes, guys. So there is a subject, guys, and and it and it is describing, you know, mother, John's mother, okay? Got it? Got it. Yes. All right. Let's take a look at the second example. Who'd like to who would like to help me read the second example, guys? Can I? Yes, go ahead, please. My friend John, who went to the same school as me, has just written the best selling novel. Very good. Okay, All right. Let's analyze these two guys, okay? All right, I'm gonna choose. Okay, Carlos, explain what's going on to me here. Why you know? Explain to me, you know, the non-defining relative clause here. Let's start with the first step, okay? First of all, remember, answer these questions, guys. Okay, this is how you're gonna explain it to me, Carlos, okay? All right, okay, first of um, all, hold on, okay? First of all, uh, if, if you can see a relative pronoun in the middle of the sentence, uh, which is who. Very good, after okay. After that, you you also can see the, the commas. Very good, good Just job, have... okay. This and the commas, good job. What else? Uh, and after that, uh, if you have extra information that maybe it is not completely necessary, I think. Where, where is that extra information? What are you talking about? Uh, who went to the same school as me. Okay, very good. So this is optional information, okay. What else, how else could you explain this? Uh, this extra information is, is just an ad for the main, uh, it's like an adjective for the subject, which Very is good. Uh, John. Huh? My friend John, okay. My friend right. John. Okay, very good. Can so, so this is how you can identify it, guys. If you can say the sentence without the, the without this clause, guys, then it is a non-defining relative clause, okay? Simple as that, guys, okay? Jaime. If you can pronounce, if you can use, say the sentence without this, put it like this, guys. Instead of commas, try to think of it as parentheses, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I think I, I right, try to think about it as parentheses. So what do parentheses do, guys? What happens when you do, when you have parentheses? Optional information. It's, it's oh. optional, right? So see, guys, this is optional, right? So Jaime. It's a mess. It's so, a mess. Hi, very good, exactly, right? So Jaime, can you say my friend John has just written a best-selling novel? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good, guys, okay? So the main point here, guys, see, is that I just want to say, guys, the main idea is, you know, um, you know, my friend John, right? And the main idea is that has written a best-selling uh, best novel. novel okay this is what novel. what i want to transmit guys okay this is you know this is actually what i want to say all right got it i can say my friend the, john there is information is extra information and not necessary for for the meaning of the sentence Exactly, exactly. You're right. Uh, the idea, uh, the idea repeat, you communicated. Repeat information, not information, right? Information. Information. All right, information, just with one, okay? All right, very good. So, but yeah, you're right, okay? It adds extra information. It is optional, okay? All right, very good. Very good, okay? Good job. All right, plus for Jaime, guys, and a plus for Carlos. That was a magnificent example, all right? Very good. All right, uh, let's see, guys. Number three, okay. Explain number three to me. Let's see. Uh, I don't know who wants to do it, guys. Need another volunteer. Okay. Would like to do it. Let's go. Um, number three, uh, my grandmother, who is dead now, came from the north of England. Mm -hmm. mm. There is. Uh, the pronoun, the, the, the who? Let me, okay, let me, let me help you with how you can explain it, okay? First of all, ask yourself a question, okay? What is the main idea, all right? So explain what is the main idea first, okay? All right, secondly, okay? 
You can explain, you know, what information is optional, all right? Number three, you know, well, this, okay, this, and then you explain why are, the, you know, why is it like this, okay? So what information, what is the main idea and what information is optional, okay? Go ahead, G, I'm sorry for interrupting. Okay. Uh, the main idea is, is to, to say in the, where it come from the, my grandmother. So she comes from England. That's the main idea. So the main idea is my grandmother uh -huh. came from the north of England. North of England. Okay. So this is the main idea. Good job. Okay. That is the main idea. You're right about that. Uh -huh. um, the the second one is the, the who is dead now is the the optional. The optional information. information. Okay. Very good. And what type of clause is this? This is uh, non-defining. And non, but 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 non-defining what? Because it have the the pronoun who. When I say non-defining, guys, what do I mean with non-defining? What the hell is non-defining? Because it have the, the the that part of the information that is not necessary. Non-defining, non guys, means. Okay, optional. What does it mean, guys? Optional. 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 Okay, right. So, you, so you know, you you can't you, you know you can't define if if you need it or not. Okay, so that is that is what it is, right? So it it means optional. Okay. Good guys. Good 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 good. Okay. All right. Then uh, let's see. All right. So so so, but what type of clause? Because we have multiple clauses, you know. Is this a is this a relative clause, Gio? Yeah. Why? How can you identify that this is a relative clause? Because it has the who in there. And what is who? How do you what do you call who? Uh, pronoun. A relative pronoun, right? Very good. Okay. Relative pronoun. All right. Now remember, don't forget the commas, right? We have the commas. Now, do we always need two commas, guys? Do we always need to put it in the you know, as the, you know, in the middle of a sentence? Yeah. No. No, necessarily. No, 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 no right? All right, very good, okay. But good job, okay? All right, applause for Gio, guys. Good job, Gio. Teacher Gio, all right? You're about to, to you know, to become the new teacher now, okay? Very good. If you can explain, right, guys, if you, honestly, guys, if you can explain a topic like this, okay, because this is like, this is a very complex, complex topic, guys. You're not going to explain this to intermediate or you're not going to explain this to basic, right? Uh, so if you can explain this, you know, then you're good. You know, you could you could teach, right? Anyways, uh, so next one, all right? Who'd like to explain the next one? The next one is a little bit different. So who dares? Who dares to do this? <laughs> all right guys so the last one guys to you know what the last one to show me oh you have just some of you have the camera off so you're not going to participate but the last one to show me guys something red okay show me something red guys the last person to show me something red is going to be my participant okay all right you're done, <laughs> you're done. i was ready all right uh jaime it's between jaime Michelle and okay, Michelle, you got it. And Ricardo, Ricardo, thank you very much, Ricardo. Uh, Ricardo or Jaime, guys, because none of them, sh you know, showed me anything here. Jaime. Ricardo has his. <laughs> oh, okay, right, Jaime. Sure. There you go, Jaime. I think Jaime wanted to. <laughs> I think I think Jaime wanted to participate, and that's the reason why you know he didn't choose anything, right? So Jaime, let's go, Jaime. So explain to us number, well, this one, right? There is no number there. Up, uh, and I'm seeing which we have uh, never visited before, but in this case that the, is a, is a relative, relative, is a relative uh, clause. Mm -hmm. But but in this case that the boss of them. Right, repeat Jaime, case, not K, case. In this case, right, in this case. Good. Both of the clause, clause, clauses, the clauses is necessary for 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 the 
for and the, for the meaning or, or the or the sentence in the, that there is a depending 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 relative clause mm -hmm. okay what what is the main idea Jaime what is the main idea here the, the main idea is that that the 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 I don't know the 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 museum stop it. We stopped at the museum, right? We stopped at the museum. Stop that is the, the main museum. idea, okay? Yeah. All right. So now, this is. Can this work alone, guys? Yes or no? Can this work alone, Jaime? We stopped at the museum. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. This information right here, right? First of all, why is it a relative clause, Jaime? Mm. Why is this clause? We stop it, Adam. We stop it. All right, very good. Who, who can help Jaime, guys? We, why is this a relative clause? Because you have a relative pronoun, right? Yeah, a relative pronoun. <laughs> All right. And that introduces, that introduces uh, guys a relative. Have a relative pronoun. Exactly, right? Now, the, the other question, is this optional? Is this information optional or is it necessary for the, for this? Optional or not? It's optional. Is information it's optional. optional. All right, it is optional, guys. If it is optional, it is? Non-defining, non okay, very good. Good job, all right, applause for Jaime, guys. Good job, Jaime, all right. Very good, okay. Uh, Michelle, let's explain the next one. <laughs> okay, I just come back from London for a job All right, very good, okay. Where is the main idea? The main idea is that I just come back from London. I've just come back. Yes, and the relative pronoun is where John lives. It starts with job. Relative pronoun where? Very good. And it's also separated by commas. Very good. It's separated by a comma, by a comma, right? And the most important part: why is this defining or, or non-defining? It's non-defining. Non-defining. Why is it non-defining? Because it doesn't change the meaning of the first sentence. It is optional, right? Very good. Or you can say that because it doesn't change the meaning of the first so, sentence. Very optional. good. Okay. See, the, the main idea here, guys, is that I, I've just come back from London, okay? I don't care, you know, if I say, you know, where, where John lives, you know, it's optional, right? Um, all right, let's take a look at the last example here. Thank you very much, Michelle. Applause for Michelle, guys. All right. Thank you. By the way, guys, in English, it's not Michelle, all right? It's Michelle. And the reason why is because that word comes from an, a French origin. Well, it comes from a French origin, okay? So all That's words right. from a French origin, guys, have to be pronounced with sh, right? Like chandelier instead of chandelier, sure. right? Uh, Michelle, um, Michigan, right? Anyways, uh, yes, or Dana, did you have a question? No? Oh, I thought that you raised your hand. Okay. Yeah. All right, very good, guys. Uh, no. All right, so thank you, Jordana. Let's do the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yesterday I met a woman named Susan whose husband works in London. Very good, okay. Hey guys, what is this? What is this? Is this the same as who? No. Or not? No. No, no right? Why not? It's a possessive relative. It's a possessive, it's, yeah. it's a possessive relative, pronoun. relative pronoun. Very good, okay. All right, pronoun. so let's explain this, Jordana. So main idea, yesterday I met a woman named Susan. Very good. And, um, then you got that relative pronoun, who's. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can see a comma there. So it's non-defining sentence or non-defining clause, relative clause. And it does not change the uh, meaning from main idea. It's optional information. Right. Okay, it's optional, right? So the main idea is that yesterday I met a woman named Susan, and then whose husband works in London, you know? 
All right, whose husband, why? Because whose guy is saying that this is the husband from Susan, okay? This is why it's a possessive. So that means that Susan is a toxica, right? Because toxica is in Spanish, because that's not how you say it in English, right? Because, you know, she thinks that she owns, she owns her husband, okay? All right, just kidding, guys, right? Very good. So, um, all right, I so. I have a question. Go ahead. Is that the Susan is a sister of Dolipa. <laughs> Okay. Right. Now my I dream, want man. to know right. ahead. when to use whom. All right. Now, first of all, whom, guys? Uh, whom is that a relative? The thing, guys, is that that that's another topic. Okay, we're not gonna see that. But uh, is 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 whom, guys, a relative pronoun? Uh, based on the previous chart, okay. it is. Very good. Okay. So now, yeah. is uh, what type of relative pronoun is according to the chart? It's a person, an object. Okay, and now. Whom is for an object. All right, you can substitute it with whom, guys, with who, okay? That's it, okay? I right, so instead of saying, you know, um, let's give an example, right? I think I gave you an example before, right? Uh, what was the example that I gave you guys? Well, whatever. Dua Lipa is a person, all right? Now, I'm not gonna use it as an undefining relative clause, guys, but um, because I don't have like nothing Who's coming off of my head. But you can say whom I like to meet. See? Who's now the, the difference, guys, all right, some people, and this would be correct, like who I'd like to meet, okay? People yeah, would use like it like this, okay? Like so you can substitute it, but there is a difference, okay? The difference is, guys, who is the 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 the, the receiver of the of the of the action, okay? All right, but that's another different topic. But yeah, I guess you can say, do Alipa is a person who might like to meet, or you can say who, you know, who is very nice to me, okay? All right, now people, guys, people in America, and this happens everywhere, guys, okay? They use who instead of whom, all right? But after whom, guys, okay, you're gonna usually, guys, and this is not only for, you know, relative pronouns, all right, whom is used, you know, and then immediately you're just, you're gonna use a pronoun or a noun, okay? And then the rest of the sentence, whom I or whom Chayanne, right? You can say whom Chayanne, you know, would like to meet. Now you can use, okay, Dua Lipa is a person who Chayanne, all right, this is incorrect, okay? After who, guys, you should usually, usually, guys, be using a verb, okay? All right? But that's a different topic, guys, okay? Um, but, yeah, that's basically the difference, Jordana. All right? I'd say. Very good. Okay, good. All right. So, uh, no problemo. All right, guys. So, um, so, so far, is it good here, guys? Yes? Yes. All right. Hold on. I didn't mean to stop sharing. Oh, I'm so hungry, guys. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. <laughs> All right. All right. Um. Anyway, so now what? What you know? What differences? I'm, I'm gonna make you practice, guys. Don't worry. Okay, we're gonna have a lot of practice. Um, hopefully today and and also tomorrow, and uh, exercises as well. All right. But what, what is you know? What are the differences between defining relative clauses? Okay. You know, within this, you know, uh, these clauses, I'm sorry, and, and the finding the relative clauses. Who would like to help me read, guys? Let's highlight, okay? So who would like to help me read? Thank you very much, uh, Nelson. Okay. Let me see. Difference with the finding relative clauses. Differences? Okay. Differences with defining That's... relative clauses. All right. In defining relative clauses, the pronouns who, whom, and which are often replaced by that in spoken English. In non-defining relative clauses, you cannot replace other pronouns with that. Very you good. also cannot leave, leave out the relative pronoun in non-defining relative clauses. Very good. All right, stop, the stop, stop there for a second, okay? Then then continue, right? Uh, thank you, Nelson. Just just a quick pause, okay? This is very important, guys, okay? Do you remember, guys, that you can reduce relative clauses? Yes? 
Remember, mm -hmm. you have to have the relative clause plus the verb be. Yes? Yes. Yes. All right. So that doesn't exist with non defining relative clauses. Okay. So that's another difference. Okay. So see, you cannot leave out, right? A relative pronoun in the in a relative pronoun, okay. <clears throat> so that's the second difference, okay. Good job, Nelson. Continue, please. Okay. Um, in the way you sometimes can in define relative clauses, the pronoun is required even when it is the object of the verb. Very good. The, clause, uh, the object of the verb in the relative clause. Finally, undefined relative clauses are always separate from the rest of the sentence by commas. Very good, unlike okay. Defining clause, unlike defining relative clauses, which have no pun punctuation. All right, very good, guys. Good punctuation, all right? Very good, okay, good job. Applause for Nelson, guys. Thank you, Nelson. All right, so guys, all right, they, first of all, okay, they cannot replace other pronouns with that, okay? Got it? You can say, you know, remember, a doctor is someone who can help you with your health. A doctor is someone that can help you with your with your health. All right, got it? You that you can replace those two, but in non-defining relative clauses, guys, you can't. Okay. All right. Secondly, guys, right, you cannot uh, you cannot leave out a relative pronoun. Remember, you can reduce a a relative, uh, I'm sorry, you can reduce a, a relative clause, right? How do you say, guys, how will you reduce, uh, how will you reduce, I'm sorry, um, uh, she, uh, well, a, a doctor, right? let's, let's go about the doctor, okay? Doctor is someone that can help you with your health. How can you reduce, how, how will you reduce that? We eliminate that and can, I think. Okay. All right, and you, then you can say that helps you with your health, right? All right, mm -hmm. or all right, uh, or a doctor is someone who is able, right? Who is able to heal your wounds. Okay, how will you say that? Reducing the, you know, the reducing the the relative clause, guys. Michelle, how will you reduce reduce that? A doctor is someone who would heal your wounds. A doctor is someone. I mean, who is able to hear you once? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, a doctor is someone able to heal your wounds. Very, very, very good. Okay, good job. Okay, Carla. All right. How will you reduce um, a mechanic is someone who is capable of fixing your car? A mechanic is someone who can fix your car. Very good, okay, good job, okay. All right, good job. All right, so see guys, you, you can, right? You, you actually can um, replace them, right? I mean, you, you can get rid of it and it will it would still feel, I mean, have the same meaning. But in undefined relative clauses, guys, you can't do that at all, right? Finally, guys, okay, you can determine that that information is optional because you are able to separate them by comas, okay? All right? So those are the four main differences, okay? Let's take a look at some, okay? Let's take a look at some of the examples, guys. All right, who'd like to help me read the first example? Uh, Veronica, let's go, Veronica. He gave me the letter, which was in a blue envelope. Non-defining clause. Mm -hmm. Envelope, non-defining non clause. There was only one letter. It happened to be blue. It happened. You must, it happened to be blue. You must use which. Exactly, guys. So, so why does it say that you must use which? Remember, in relative clauses, guys, you could get rid of which, right? Which was actually. Now, now, can we say, guys? He gave me the letter in a blue envelope. Yes. Okay. Yes, you can, you can. You can say he gave me the letter in a blue envelope, but because we have a coma. Um, you cannot reduce it. All right, you can reduce it because of that, right? 
Now, because there is a comma here, guys, that makes it, you know, a non-defining relative clause. So this, this, it says, you know, hey, this is information that is optional, right? He gave me the letter. That's the idea that I want to transmit here. Got it? So you can't reduce it, guys, okay? Uh, let's see, Jaime. Well, yeah, Jaime, all right? No, you know what, Carlos de Leon, right? Help me read the second one, please. Okay, um, he gave me the letter which that was in a blue envelope. Okay, very good. Now here guys, is this a defining or non-defining relative clause? Defining. defining. Right, because you can use see, first of all, you can, yes, it's without a coma and also you can use either which or you can use that, got it? Mm -hmm. right, so you can replace them with both, right? So now, guys, see, it's, it's the same sentence, right? He gave me the letter, which was in a blue envelope. He gave me the letter, which was in a blue envelope. So now this information right here, guys, okay, he's not really that optional anymore, okay? He's not a metido anymore, right? He's not a nosy, all right? He's not a nosy close, um, all right? So if you notice here, there were several letters of different colors and he gave me the blue one, okay? Now, notice, guys, that the whole idea changes because of this. He gave me the letter. How many letters do we have here? One. one. Okay, one you have one. one, right? He gave me the letter, which was in blue, all right? These guys, how? what are you understanding? One one letter or two or many letters? Many, many, letters. Letters. many letters. Okay, this is many. Out of many letters, he gave me one of them. Got it? So now, because, guys, because... Here, I'm talking about just one letter, which is the main idea, one letter, see? Main idea, right? One letter, right? The main idea here is multiple, right? It's multiple letters, guys. Got it? The main idea changes, okay? Got it? Does it make sense? Um, yes, All right, Jim. Yes. I'm sorry, I have a question. Go ahead. That, 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 that situation about the one, number one and two sentence, it's about uh, a context or is because of the coma? It's because of the coma, right? It's because here you can't substitute, he gave me the letter that was in a blue envelope, okay? You can't use that here, right? You have to use which. Right, you can't substitute that. But here, you can say which or that. Got it? So that's okay. one and two. That's why I'm saying one and two, because you can either use this or, or this, right? Either one of them, not both of them, either one of them, okay? All right, very good. Okay. Good question, man, all right. Uh, Cesar, all right, help me read the last one, Cesar. He gave me the letter. <clears throat> which I read immediately. Which I read. Read immediately. Immediately, okay. All right, very good. So defining, defining guys are non-defining. Non-defining. Non-defining, okay. Why? Because of the comma and use which. Because of the comma, right? We know that it's a relative clause extra because of which, okay. Yeah. All right, and because it's extra information, right? Now, can I say he gave me the letter which I read immediately without a coma. Yeah. All right. Now, um, so here there was only one letter, right? Which is the object that I read. Now, can I say he gave me the letter? Well, actually we, we do have it above, right? Now he gave me the letter, which I read immediately. Can I, can I say something like that guys without the coma? Um, Yes, you yeah, could say no, that, no. but what would be what what would be different, guys? What would be different about the idea if we, if I said something like that? And without a comma, you can use that instead of which, right? That I, okay, very good. Okay, you can use that instead of which. Good job. Okay, that's one difference. Okay, but what what is the idea, guys? If I use it without a comma, what is the difference? He gave me the letter which I read immediately, or he gave me the letter that I read immediately. You're referring to a, uh, exactly one letter, a specific one letter, maybe. Okay, I mean, in this sentence I'm reading, you know, he gave me the letter, the one letter, right? I'm, I'm talking about a specific letter. But if I say he gave me the letter that I read immediately, I'm talking about among many letters, I read one of them. 
Got it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that changes the main idea, right? All right. Next example. All right. Let's see. I let's see. I don't know, Adriana, if you're here. <laughs> Hello, Adriana. I think I think you're working, right? Alexander, let's go, Alexander. All right, let's read the next one. A Stratford, a name on which many people have written about is Shakespeare. Written. Beer, beer place. Any preposition that upper is normally placed in the end of the clause. Very good. Okay, good job, man. Good job, Alexander. Stratford on Avon, which many people have written about, is Shakespeare's birthplace. Okay. Now here, guys, try to identify it here, right? So can I say Stratford on Avon is Shakespeare's birthplace? Yes or no? Yes, yeah. you can. All right. So this is defining or non-defining, guys? Non-defining. Non it's non-defining, right? Because this information is optional. Is this a relative clause? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes, okay. Very good. It is a relative clause because we're introducing it using a relative pronoun, all right? Very good. All right, next example. Uh, let's see. Geo, all right? Let's go with the last example here. Geo. What for the neighbor about the <coughs> people have written is check for this place. All right. All right, leave it there. Okay, that's okay. Thank you very much. All right, so see here, guys, what is the difference here? All right, Strat Stratford on Avon, about which many people have written, right? Now here, guys, we're using a preposition, <coughs> see? All right, but now, guys, the preposition doesn't change the fact that this is still a, a non-defining relative clause. Why, guys? Because this is optional for the relative pronoun, okay? So this can exist without, so without this, you know, you can also use it, right? So it's still, guys, a non-defining relative pronoun because the main, you know, the, the main, um, the main word that tells us that this is a, a relative, you know, clause, a non-defining, mean, I'm sorry, a relative clause, yes, is the relative pronoun, okay? So this about, guys, is describing which, okay? If you want to put it like that, okay? So um, that's it, guys, okay? Do we have any questions so far, guys? Or so far, so good? I think so you, you, you explained it very well, guys. Jordana, do you have a question? I see you like wondering about things. <laughs> you good, Jordana? No, no you're good? Yes. All right, very good. All right, guys. Introducing, all right? Uh, well, actually, hold on, we're gonna we're gonna skip this over for now, all right? Anyways, guys, okay. So uh, we have seven minutes left, guys. Okay. Um, tomorrow, guys, we're gonna do exercises, and um, we are going to uh, solve, guys, the final exam in, in the section four, all right? So I want to take, guys, a couple of minutes to take uh, to get you know to take a look at actually, guys, section four today, all right? Remember, guys, I need you to finish everything, guys, uh, and, you know, send me the screenshots from the platform before tomorrow, okay? All right, guys, so did we did we all finish, guys, uh, exercise 4.2? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we did? Okay. Yep. All right. All of you guys, so none of you is missing something here? No? All right. Just just because, guys, okay, for people who are not in the, in the, in the you know, um, in this session, guys, let's, let's solve it, okay? All right. So what is the answer for number one? Someone who hopes to be a chef should get proper training. What is the answer here? Someone hoping to be a chef. Okay, very good. Someone hoping to be a chef should get the, should proper, get the proper training. Very good, proper training. Okay, good job. All right. Number two, uh, Nelson, what do you have for number two? Number two. Anyone who wants to be an actor needs both talent and luck. Anyone wanting to be an, an actor needs both. <laughs> 
Talent and look. Needs both talent and luck, not look, luck. Look, luck. All right, very good. All right, a luck. A luck. Okay, uh, Jordana, number three. Person working as a comedian is always looking for new ways to make people laugh. Very good. Okay, a person working as a comedian is always looking, you know, uh, for new ways to make people laugh, right? Very good. Number four, Veronica, what do we have for number four? People clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal would make good that they type. That they detectives. Type. Repeat detectives. detectives. Very good. Detectives. 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 <laughs> detectives. Detectives. Okay, very good. Okay. Good job. Uh, good job, All right? Uh, uh, let's see. Carlos, okay, what do we have for number six? Uh, five or six? Or oh, five, I'm sorry, five, I'm sorry. It's not a problem, okay. Uh, anyone dreaming of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. Very good, anyone dreaming of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work, right? All right, good, 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 guys, okay. Uh, let's see, Ricardo, what do we have for number six? Okay, someone responsible for a large staff has to be able to be creative with his scheduling. Repeat, creative. Creative. Creative, creative with scheduling, okay? Scheduling, yes, right? Good job, creative. guys. Good job, yes. right? All right. Uh, then the listening exercise, I, it's not about filling. Well, yeah, it is about filling it out. Did you finish this one, guys, the listening exercise? All of them. Yes. All of them? Yes. All right, very good. All of you guys, did you all finish this one? Yes. All right, very good, okay. All right, so let's see, guys. Let's go over the answers from the next one here, right? 4.10, all right? Now, this one, guys, is just, you know, multi a multiple option, all right? So I'm not going to go over that one, all right? But, um, yeah, guys, that's it, okay? Um, so tomorrow, guys, tomorrow is going to be really... Like one, like it's pretty much, you know, one of the most important days, guys, because we are going to go over, you know, the final exam. And if you, even if you get 100, you know, we're still going to practice, guys. And there is some information that we need to share about the next module. Right. And also, guys, it's our last day together, you know, just just yeah. come. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's, it's the last day from the module, guys. All right. Uh, I This is probably, guys, one of the, the best groups that I've had because you guys are very responsible. Uh, I don't know what your goal with English is, guys, but whatever your goal is, you know, keep improving, right? Uh, don't, don't, don't just fill out the, I mean, don't, don't just finish the platform and, and leave it like that because, I, I mean, that doesn't do anything. The platform is nothing, right? What you have to do is that you have to be able, you know, to speak fluently, right? Um, to connect ideas. So the relative clauses, guys, all these things about relative clauses, they sound like, I have never seen, um, you know, a teacher, guys, explaining why these are important aside from, you know, having good grammar. They are important, guys, because these uh, these relative clauses that, well, the clauses in general help you connect your ideas when you're talking, okay? So you don't sound like, oh, my favorite movie is The Matrix, The Matrix because it's beautiful, it is awesome, I like it, right? <laughs> All right, so so you you know so this this is why it's very important. So you can stop sounding like that. All right. Uh, do you have any questions, guys? Any questions? Questions? No. Any requests? Nothing. All right. All right, guys. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Okay, to uh, deliver yeah. our last class, and uh, thank you for everything, guys. Okay. Thank have you. a great you. night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Thank you very much. Bye bye.